encourage us to do actual look in there i know not the viewfinder oh i'm covering so oh my god is it hot saucy it's a hot in here hot in here okay <sighs> it's getting hot in here fucking sweating my fucking tits oh. right now right, peanutty mm -hmm. right let's go with the film are we on i think hold on that just Hi, we're on. I think I've done the, the right set up here. Here by us, it's done and set up. Hi guys, welcome back. It's me again. She's back. I'm back. You have missed VJ Day so much. Mm -hmm. Mate, you were the, like the most, everyone was like, if you used to fell out or something. I was like, no, she's just no well for her. You did really, like, I'm not going to lie, you did Everybody, vanish. Everybody has said to me, oh, thank God you're all right. I was scared for a while. I thought you were dead basically because you never put on instagram that was weird that was a weird moment i had people messaging me saying you've seen jade recently and i'm like i mate but she's just um <laughs> i wasn't i wasn't well to the say the least sad so the least here you go dear thank you that's for your, my lady i wasn't well and then i just had to recover i really hope we can see each other in this because we have the viewfinder head in fact you know what i'm going to just hold that i know it's not gonna oh 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 that works. Okay, that no works. sudden movements. No, don't you No sudden movements. We so guys, yourself. we can't show you the setup because it'll fall apart. The camera will we can't move it. I'll try and lift the tray up. Yeah, we'll try and lift the tray up. But um You're not gonna get a good view. We're very famous muck bangers right now. No. Oh move that move the spring rolls because they're ruining the vibe. Zoom in, people. Oh, I thought you meant me. I was like, Jake, come on, man. <laughs> Can't expect me to zoom in. No. Do I want to clip my hair up? Mm. Get it right at the dial just so I can proper enjoy this so feast. You can enjoy the experience. I'm trying These to make are any sudden movements in this car. huge. How am I supposed to eat them? Whoa, they're. Oh, I don't like a big sushi roll or not. It's really. <laughs> oh, oh by the way, so nice. mainly went to. I don't want to say the name because I don't want to have a bad mouth about business, mm. but. Uh huh. Shite. Was it? Worst service I ever had in my life. And oh, no, it was. I used to love there. Because I apologised for it, but I was still like, wow. Oh, I used to love there. Like, probably the worst service I've had in a restaurant ever. Really? Was it busy? Well, it's not a big place. No, it's not a big place. However, mm. it was, um, Lee was like, I hate you for taking me here, and I was like, I oh, know, I'm sorry. It was that's not, such a shame, because it was my I've been single. a couple of times, it was really good, but I've not been since way before lockdown. No. Right. Oh, have you put wasabi in both? Just pick it out. It was just in it. I'll pick it out. Wait, wait, wait. I can't fucking eat wasabi. It, it doesn't do anything unless you're actually, like, dingy it up. Oh, does it not? It's just a wee ball. That is the scariest thing to ever be. There you go. Be. Put it out. Put it out. Just watch it doesn't go into your made a little I'm um, probably most will like my hair like this, but hey on. But we just thought we'd do a wee um How nice is Abby with the red lip? I know guys, we just thought I don't do I don't enjoy but um I wanted it for one photo and then I realised that I was filming today so I think it looks spectacular. We're now um, you know having a wee cola. Oh, well, cheers. cheers. Mine isn't really that cold, but no, mine's isn't either, and I tried to dig in the back because I'm a bitch like that. Cheers. In it, in the eyes. Why do you think it's in the eyes? I don't know. It's a ton of a bad sex or something if you don't look in the eyes. Fuck, I don't want that. Don't I take a chance? <laughs> fucking too right, I don't. Wait, do we do a. Um, do we do a, a thingy? What's it called? A thumbnail. A thumbnail, that's the one. Where do we look? No, look at the camera. Wait. It's got the yellow one, but it's not even got the fucking yellow one. <laughs> Fuck's sake, get the promo in. <laughs> get a free yellow one, fuck's sake. Can't take the bus, you'll seriously something. I feel like yellow one should give me a discount code. They fucking should. Because 
even just for you. So many, yeah, that and all, but so many people tag me like, oh my god, got a rip on. We need to go and sit in one time so it's mm -hmm. like right fresh, even though we just dropped two minutes off the road. But... Mm. Right, let's try sushi. So we've got, sweet, we've got something different today, we've got sweet potato roll, usual. What, is that a katsu? That's a katsu, but it's deep fried. I really want to eat it, but I'm scared. Uh, no, it's like... Because you know, with sushi, you always try to bite it. It doesn't fucking do a thing. Yeah, I feel that. Yeah, yeah great. Good luck, guys. No. Mmm. Mmm. That's still some noodles. Well tasty. At some noodles, they, I want to know what they cook them in. Mmm. Mmm. Because they're like juicy. That's so good, mate. Is it? Mmm. I've got a cut on my face, I can feel it. Look at the shade of my lip. I know, I feel like wearing a red lip right now today was not maybe my smartest idea. But. That is so good. What was that? Chicken katsu. But. But they're fried. Um, like what? What do you call it? Is it tempura? No. Mm. Oh my god, that's fucking delicious. Mm. It does look 10 out of 10. So how's everyone been? How's Jade been? I'm so glad I'm better now, guys. I was so ill for a while, but... I feel good! I feel back to myself, so that's good. That's the main thing. Because you weren't feeling yourself for a while. Mm -mm. Yeah, like, even after I was sick, I just... I didn't feel myself. Mm -mm. Yeah. But we're all good. We're alive. We're here. We're ready for more. Ready for Christmas. Mate, fucking sign me up. I'm so ready. Well, I say Christmas, but I mean the whole build up. I mean, like. Yeah, I mean December. Doing things. Just like lights everywhere, it's mm -hmm. cold, you're wrapped up, you get hot chocolate, mm -hmm. you put your coat on. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I want to like put my decorations up now. Why can't I get the grips with fucking hot weather? Oh. The hot weather, it was really I don't like it off. being clammy, like I don't like this. It's Today's 20 down. fucking degrees when it's raining. Mm -hmm. What the hell? But I really want to be able to go outside with a jacket on and not be sweating. Mm -hmm. I'm walking the dogs now, right? With my jacket on because it's raining, sweating my planning. With me, I wore a big puffer jacket. Bad to mistake. Took for a walk. Mm -mm. Andrew's like, you're going to be too warm. I'm like, watch me, bitch. Yeah. And I was sweating. Mate. I had to wear it like a fucking uh, cape on the way back. <laughs> not a look. It's not good, mate. That's why I'm like, nah. Fuck, I'm fucking yeah, I don't know what I'm doing. Whoa, all these chopsticks are all over the camp. I do apologise. Um, I do apologise. It's really hard to now, like, to find a happy balance. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Even today, it's fucking pushing down. Are you alright? You're asking me if I'm alright. I think the question is, are you alright? <laughs> what the fuck is that now? Oh, that was on yours. <laughs> okay, fantastic. I eat your PJs, man. Love that for people. What time is it? Two o'clock in the day or something? You could call that brunch, though, couldn't you? Wow. I feel like been eating your jammies on a Sunday is totally acceptable. If I went out and my On a journey each day, that's questionable. I wouldn't want people to know they were pajamas. Mm -hmm. I would need to have a coat on top, but you can't see anything else. Like, a couple of weeks ago, I was in like, uh, I think it was high clear, that's not clear, take max. And I was very hungover. And because this day, mum and dad only had like pajama joggers, but like, yeah, they are pajamas, do you know what I mean? They're not yeah. joggers. And a jumper, and I get to ask for a photo. And mum went, you should be ashamed of yourself. And I was like, Alison, 
that was not my intention when I left to go up to one shop up the fort. And the thing is, I parked right outside TK Maxx thinking so no one will know me. In. No one will see me. Oh my God. To be fair, the girl and her mum were absolutely lovely about it. I think the mum just thought, well, it's concerning my daughter wants a photo of you when you look like a hobo. But, that's what it is, you've got, you know. It shows that I'm a real human being that can't handle a hangover. I think um, you probably still look lovely. No. No, my mum my said, no. <laughs> Alison's like, no, not him. I kept my mask on, but... That is the only thing I like about masks. Mm -hmm. When you really aren't feeling or looking good, you're like... Mm -hmm. Oh my god, on. I got your ass down some neck. But I don't have pure recognisable eyes, so I'm like, no one knows me. You know what I mean? I could tell you by your eyes. I could tell you by your eyes. Could you though? Yes. Mm. Well, because I'm shite. <laughs> Look at you with a mask and I still think nobody can see you. <laughs> I've just laughed. I've been happy. She really does look worse for the other day. Oh, they two just butted test in the car by accident. That's hilarious. I did that all the time we leave. <sighs> now, when you both go back to get something. Smack that bitch. We did some mm -hmm. questions, so we'll answer them as well. Mm -hmm. I'll get them up in a minute. Okay. Not too bad. Right, I'm going to try this. It's so good. It's a wee bit messy. Okay, take the plate to it. Oh, it's huge, isn't it? Fucking hell. Fuck me, man. I could have half them or something. Some shit. I'm not really a big sushi roller and all, I don't really like. It is so good. So tasty. Wow. Mmm. Because you know, Budon doesn't do fucking sushi anymore. What? Budon do not do sushi anymore, I am sad. So what do you do? They still just do like the katsu curry and like noodles. Is that enough for you, Phil? Mm-hmm. And they do like edamame and cows and all that, but they just don't do the sushi. That's mind blown. I'm really sad, please bring it back if you watch this. Ever. Why would they stop? I don't know. Maybe it's just too much like waste or prep or I don't know. But is it not just the same ingredients that you have? And like a katsu curry. But maybe it's like just a prep. Maybe it's too much time and effort. I really want to go on a sushi course. Mm. You can do that, like a fun one. Mm -hmm. We should do that. Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We should. We could do that with the boys. Who? Huh? The boy. You know, your, your boyfriend, mm. Lee. Oh my god. Can you imagine? Like... He'd probably fucking hate that, wouldn't he? I was like, no, this is bash, I'm away. <laughs> Leave that as a catch for the own option. <laughs> Wait, that's what she plays name was like, what am I eating then? I was like, it's quite a weird menu though, isn't it? It is very Mate, like. Mate, he gets steak and it was like, honestly, it's chewy as fucking chewing gum. Oh, don't. It was barking. I'm then so gutted for you because whole... honestly, we've had great food in there. So the guy said, what do you want? Oh, the girl and I said, yeah, right. Mm -hmm. So she came out, four times I had to ask for soy sauce, four times, right? So I was a bit like, come on. Come on, boys. Then... Up the ante. Literally, we'd finished a whole meal and they brought out fried rice. And I was like, we don't want that now. He went, but you asked for it. And I was like, but we've asked for the bill and all. We'd asked for the bill. And he went, what do you want me to do? I'll just take it away. And I went, I was like... Sorry, pardon me. I was like, well, we'll just take it with us then. Can I pour him in here? Yeah, we're going to Lee's mum's anyway, so I was like, oh, I'll just take it up. They ate it, but I was a bit like, 
Yeah, what's the point? Yeah, no, we asked like, for it, like, but... Like, no, they should know. The yeah. other... And literally, as he left, the girl brought the bill. So I was mega disappointed, because honestly, mate, I thought it was going to be, like, the best thing ever, and I thought, oh my God, I'm getting a new sushi restaurant. Best sushi I've had recently is probably when we went to Edinburgh. That was so good. Oh, my God. That was so good. That actually was the best One sushi. of my pals actually messaged me and was like, I've seen this place, I think we should go here. And I was like, I'm sure that's where we went, and it was... And I was like, oh, well, I hope it, I hope it starts to get popular because they deserve the well, That they was. It was a tiny, it was tiny, wasn't it? Like maybe, four suits. Yeah, like four tables. Maybe, uh-huh. oh no, there was a wee bit, bit in the back, but we're, the initial bit you go in was absolutely tiny. What was it called again? Ke- Kenji or something, wasn't it? Mm-hmm. Kenji. Kenji or something. Kenji or some shit, but it was good. It was unreal. That was like the crab. <gasps> this all shell crab was fucking elite. Um, I have so much to tell you. I can't tell you yet because I've told mm. I've told the guys something's happening, and I am actually vlogging it. Oh, that's exciting! As each thing happens, so that like you can see the process once it happens. But just, just know you're going to be happy. I hope so. I am shitting a brick though, but closer to gets when it. I was bound to see that. I that my noodle. You better put that. In. I'm going to zoom in on you doing that. I'm going to do my tech skills and. I don't think I'm actually getting any good at this. Hitting zoom. Into my big chindles. Right, also I need you to help me pick my nails for tonight. Get my nails done. Okay. Right, chit, 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 chit. Oh, shut up myself. Oh, I think I used your fork. I'm sorry. I'm fed up with this now. <laughs> right. So, some questions. True love. Cheers. 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 They're lovely and crispy and light, aren't they? What does your average day in your life look like for the both of you? We go fast, ladies, first. Average day? I would say I get up early, so I try to get up. I have struggled for the last while, so don't actually think that I'm pure this fucking early riser but I like to get up as early as possible so I would prefer to be up before six if possible I know don't ask and then I always nowadays have breakfast I feed my little doggy take him a walk that is like the main part of my day now like make sure that he gets a walk because then if I'm busy I need to know that he's walked to the toilet in the house oh relaxing and then usually I will be doing some kind of work so either in the salon or at a shoot or doing a wedding and then really it's boring <laughs> home make dinner shower and brush your teeth get in your bed that's my day really if I'm being honest very boring yeah very boring I get up every morning at 7 I don't set an alarm I just wake up it's fucking weird now, all of a sudden, it literally, like, it's on seven I wake up. It's weird. Yes, hello. I get up, I go downstairs, let the dogs at the back for a pee, make my coffee, give them two biscuits. I sit for a full hour with my coffee. Most of the time, they tell you off. That's why I get up early, because I uh-huh. like to chillax. Yeah, see, I like to get up and have time where I can, like, check my phone, like scroll through TikTok, <clears throat> Insta, maybe go on ASOS new in. Because I used to get, be that person that got up with the, the smallest amount of time, literally brush your teeth, shower, dress and get out the door. And yeah, it's stressing. Oh mate, it's anxiety. So see if you get up early, I know it's hard to get out of your bed, but once you get into it, you're used to it. And also it's such a nice morning because you're literally like, Happy as Larry, is that's going to fucking do the heat thing. See, if it fuck does this, I'm going to actually fuck, what the fuck? Like, it's not hot. The window's down. It's kind of hot today. Yeah, it's hot to get back. Um, what else did I do? So I get up, have my coffee. Sit for, till eight, do nothing. We'll do what I just said. Then I get up, feed the dogs, walk the dogs. I always have a PT or a gym class at ten. They're always at ten. So I go to that come back have food and then if i'm doing work i like to be ready like this by one 
and again, I've got time to like if I'm filming, I can film and edit the same day or go out and do photos, come back, edit them. Then I usually try and have dinner at like seven or start cooking at seven. So I'm oh, less hungry really later. Late. It's so that like I have I dinner. I go to bed early though. See, I go to bed early, but I have done it like half seven you like to till half full. eight. I walk the dogs half eight till nine, and then I'm in my bed for half nine. Oh, that's good. If you go for a walk after dinner, it's all smashing. And also, you feel good. I don't like being downstairs when it starts to like. See, when people stop walking the dogs, which in my street's about half nine, people stop walking their dogs about that time. I like to be up in my bed, alarm on, door locked. Yeah, safety first. See, it's raining. It's raining now. Can't win. Honestly, guys, I gee up with this weather. It's warm, but raining. These noodles are the best noodles I've ever ate. Does not make sense. They are very good. Yeah, I just try and keep myself busy all day. Mm -hmm. But I'm quite boring. But I'm always usually meeting somebody. Yeah, well, I'll never really meet you, but... Meeting somebody, working, feeding myself. Mm -hmm. Walking the dog, it's my day. And I rarely get ready unless I've actually got something to do. Mm -hmm. I never put my makeup on, so I'm lazy! I'm trying not to wear it every day. I wish I could be fucked, but. I Best can't. eyeshadow primer. It's mm. for you. <laughs> to be honest. I hate eyeshadow primer, but... Yeah, I just use like a concealer that kind of sets, so uh, I like shape tape, but I just use a wee bit of it and then I always set the eye. What do you set it with? Like a, a, like a white powder? Just a translucent loose powder. Oh. See, I just use my Born This Way concealer, but I don't set it, I just put the eyeshadow on. Yeah, but... It just, it's just how I how I work, but you can just go straight in, and then essentially the shadow you're putting in will be so more pig, will be more pigmented, and it will set it. But I just like to have a set blank canvas, and then you really spilt those noodles earlier, can't didn't you? Well, I'm adding some flavour, adding some flavour to um, the, the sush. So yeah, just use a good concealer. Any well, concealer really, coming in this car. Any concealer and a loose powder to set, and then. Your eyes should be set. There's nothing worse than a creasy eye, by the way. Yeah, but it does happen to us all. It well, happens to the bestest. <sighs> oh my god, best sushi local to East End, what sh and what's your order? Well. <laughs> hmm. I think, like, Jakey vibes, Yapon. Yeah, where do I like near all. Oh, the place, what's that? Is that place near me? But it's East Kilbride. It's near East Kilbride. EK, it's called Oishi or something mm -hmm. like that. That's good. Because really, to the East End, this is close to Duke Street. You're not that far. Like, you're talking more. Yeah, you on, yeah. Ah, uh, you're like, really. And you can about turn and back, bounce back on the motorway, so it's not like that far, do you know what I mean? What's your order? You go first, dude. I like <clears throat> anything, really. Yeah. I like. What, what would I like desperately want if I was getting sushi? I love like short, soft shell crab. I love spicy. I actually hate tuna and like in every other form, but I like spicy tuna sushi, like raw rolls. I'm really? into rolls. Rolls are my favourite. Spicy edamames, oh my god. All the way. Oh, why didn't we order edamame? Oh, damn. My order's usually a chicken katsu roll. I love the fact that Yippon do sweet potato because it's my favourite. So I always get the sweet potato roll. That is so good. Because it's like. I feel like it cleanses the palate. It's tasty, but. Do you know what I mean? Um, I like salmon if it's spicy. Yeah. I do like a salmon tempura, so see if it's buttered salmon. Oh, God, stunning. I usually <laughs> get stunning. like a gyoza or a spring roll. And then if it's a yapon, I get noodles and sati sauce. That's my order. Um, 
This is like a bit of ASMR with this rain. Someone said you should do never have I ever. Is that the way they're doing that though? I know. Never have I ever and then... Or they would send what, in questions. Yeah, but what's the challenge? What the, what's the forfeit? You have to drink. So, what would make? so I would... Still there. So I would do like never... They would do like never have I ever. Done it up bum. Like you would have to drink if you have. So right, one time we're just gonna have to stay at your house or mine, and yeah, we're gonna have to sure, do the drink because everybody wants the see or shot it. Heart. Oh shit! Put it up. I'm trying to do the best with that that sweet temp. It's just taking the absolute. <laughs> the mic. Um, you know what I mean? Like that would be the question. Okay, so. well, we'll need to do a sleepover. Yeah. Um, biggest lessons that you have. Steaming, can I? I'll be fucking shorting a lot. Biggest lessons that you have made that have made you more confident and grow amazing as boss ladies. Thanks for thinking I'm a boss. Oft. Very nice. Right. I'm going to have this tumps. So good that. Um I think as you as you Is get older. Is there any more soy? No. Like yeah, there's soy in there. I think as you get older, you really just get more comfortable with yourself and start to give less fucks. Oh yeah. Because I say that in a pure. when you're well, everybody still does, but like when you're younger you really care what other people think of you. You probably mm -hmm. overthink there's probably lots of things that at that time in your life you think is like the be all and end all. But well, as you get older them. you start to just be like you do you, hun. Yeah. I don't know I if think I've had like any specific lessons that's maybe be like, oh my god, right, that was like a turning point for me, but yeah, just try not to care too much about what you, you think other people think, because I've heard this thing before, which is so true, nobody cares about you as much as you care about yourself. Mm -hmm. Like, the things that you think people are probably thinking or saying, they probably don't actually give two shits, so mm -hmm. don't worry, just you do you. I think I've learned like, you can be friendly with someone and they can be nice to you, but they're not your friend. Yeah. Oh, also... Like, I've learned that recently, like, people who maybe... There's nothing... I've thought as as a friend, they haven't. And that's hurtful sometimes because you're a bit like, oh, well, how can one person think one thing and one person think... That baffles me. But... That, again... But it always brings you back to knowing who your true pals are. As you get older, though, you start to not take that as personally and just... Yeah, like, to be honest... Draw a line under it. And, and I can't give it, two flying tosses if... No, because I'm just, like... <laughs> I'm at an age where I'm, like... I don't have time... For... People's bullshit. <gasps> oh, what? She's went off. I'm just having a proper breakdown, aren't you? Okay, yeah, I just don't know how we fix it. That's the only thing. Um, we have a tripod. Maybe it's because she's so close to this window. Yeah, maybe we need to have it off. Yeah, so that's that. That's that. What's your ultimate takeaway? Are you not eating that sweet potato one? Oh, you have it. <clears throat> What's your ultimate <laughs> takeaway? Um. My god, it depends on the mood. Does it? Sometimes I like. Like. I mean, I probably, if I was to be like, oh, what would I fancy and get it as like a special treat, would be sushi. Because I don't. I wouldn't take away that too. Like, that often. I would usually get like a standard Chinese or an Indian. Mm hmm. But like a sushi, I'm like, oh, I want a sushi. And I would go to that one in East, East Kilbride. And I like that, but then I also, oh my god, sometimes like you can't beat a crispy aromatic duck from the Chinese with the pancakes. And wow, that. would that be your order? Oh, not always, not in a standard Chinese. Right. Sometimes I'm just like, oh, I could go that crispy aromatic mm. duck. I don't know if I've had crispy aromatic duck. Oh my you I have like the it's gonna be pancake and the the duck and then you put the duck. Is in that it. the one that was trending on TikTok? The girl was like, doing that. Uh, right, yeah, no, that's I've so never good. had it. But like, if I was just having a pure night where you're like, I just need the Chinese, 
I would There's literally get like better. salt and chili chips, uh -huh, but go to my sauce, fried rice, noodle, crispy shredded beef, chicken satay. I mean, Andrew would share that. I would do. I'm not a main courser. Lee's a main courser. Your gal over here, not a main courser. <coughs> do you like I'm bits? Have absolutely piggy fucking bit? soaking for sitting in that window. Open. <laughs> That's what I'm fucking at. I can tell you that for sure. So I have salt and chili mini spring rolls. Mm -hmm. Peking spare ribs, mm. fried rice, noodles, satay sauce. I like the Peking sauce, I get that obviously with the ribs. So that's like where I'm happy. Lee would add on to that, I'd either chicken satay or a beef satay on the skewer mushroom only. Or... I do sauce separate. See who does this all the time. Brace of chicken curry, I go, sorry. That is boring. boring. Get, I'm, I'm, get I'm that. not paying a tenner for a breast of chicken curry when I could bang a fillet and Mayflower sauce in the pan <laughs> and it's the same fucking thing. I'm like, branch out, get a Peking style or something. I like fucking hundreds of, clearly, hundreds she of She can food. fuck off with this camera. Right, yeah, I'm just a fat branch out, everything. I'd eat um, pretty much anything. Oh, here's a question. Fancy a boy I work with, he said he fancies me, but oh, he's hot and cold with replies. We haven't met yet because of COVID. Staff night out, out is next week. What do I do? Also, oh. they work there for the same company, but they must be working from home. Turn up like a bad bitch. So I would show up. And ignore that bitch. Like your stunning best. Your best stunning self, even. Let him come to you. Let, do not give him eye contact. <laughs> don't meet him at the bar. Don't, don't text him like you're here yet, babe. Nothing. If he doesn't approach you with, do you want me? To, do you want a drink? What are you drinking? Sorry, bye. I'm sorry. If he's interested, he will. He be will come to you, near especially you. on a night out when you're probably going to look way better than what you would in work. It's, it's a, <laughs> no, but I mean, yes. <laughs> no, I mean like you you're don't a four, go into work. But with, now you're a ten. <laughs> no, you don't go into work with like heels on, a blow dry, your True. makeup I know done. What you mean. I know so what you mean. you're going to be next level. So this is when he's first going to see you. And if he doesn't come to you with, babe, do you want a drink? No. Yeah, no. If he is interested... He will come to you. He will... But um, don't let him sweet talk you into going up the road or nothing. Well. Not, not... Not... If you think it's love, crack on. No. Not the first night, sorry. Just send an address to someone so we know where you are. Put your location on, share it with your friends. I've got nothing against the old sexy time on the first See, day, I've... but if you're into if you're into him and you're unsure about him, do not give it up on the first date. Yeah, well that's that's <coughs> if you think it's just a little bit of fun, go for it, crack on, there's no need to wait. If you want to be a BF, <laughs> hold it for a couple of dates, maybe two. On the third, go big or go home. But I do also feel a little bit mm, about people going back to guys' houses. Because yeah. I just think there's so much of these yeah. Be careful. Safety first guys that are just killing people. I mean, let's not scare the fucking girl. Yeah, I don't think he'll kill you. <laughs> Maybe just book a, a frame in. No! That's fucking worse. <laughs> just don't go home with him. Just no, go part ways. Where we kiss or whatever. And Maybe go back to a party or something. Kiss him or what, you know, have a bit of funky time. But then go your separate ways after you the party. You share your location with your friends always, okay? Aye. Or, or us. Yo. Yeah. Do you and Jade like crystals or believe in them? Oh, right, okay. I am not super into anything, but I do enjoy the TikTok side of uh, manifesting and crystals and all that kind of stuff. have no clue about it. wouldn't even know what we're talking Basically, about. Basically, there's, like, crystals and they do different... They have different... It's, like, energy. They have, like, different meanings or things. See, or I just People say, funny. like, if you get, like, a, a certain type of crystal on a necklace or whatever, like, be prepared, you're going to be lusted after by all the men and blah, oh, blah, blah. Oh, give me that fucking necklace. Put that on my neck. You've got a boyfriend, okay? Read it in, hun. Don't worry, Lee, I've got your back. She's got your um, back. Yeah, so I'm not I'm not pure into it, but I find it interesting, and I'm I would like to believe it. I think it's nice, like to see the manifesting thing. Yeah, I don't think I even really know enough about that, but I think it's a good way to stay really positive because if you are constantly thinking like you're grateful or thinking things that you really want in life, or like it's always positive, so you're always in that mindset. Yeah, so it stops you actually getting depressed and is anxious oh, well, I'm all anyway. for it if that's what it does for people 
that's what I was like. I mean, I'm not pure sitting at home being like writing out my um, affirmations or anything, but I have no just clue what thinking, you just said there, but <laughs> just thinking like positive thoughts really helps. Okay. <laughs> if you could love anyone else, where would it be? Amsterdam. Really? Amsterdam? Mate. I'd be in Italy. I would um, be in Italy, no, New York, if money was no option. No, it was no. Was no what? What's the saying? Was no option. If, if I had all the money in the world, I would live. I'd have an apartment in New York, 110%. New York is just. I would have an apartment in Amsterdam, but in the city centre. And I would probably buy a cool wee flat down in London that I could just live on board during 100%. the week. London, 100%. I wouldn't live in London. I wouldn't live in London. No, she hates I us. I love it to cool. I'm going to allow you to fuck off. Oh, does it fuck? She's just a f- bitch. I wouldn't live in London yet. No. But I would live, I would, if I could live anywhere, I would, I feel like if I don't have to work, I suppose, like Italy, just eat pasta. Mate, is he oh. not on the telly? Go to the beach. No, he is. He's in something. What is he in? I can't really see him through the Oh rain. my god, he's famous. He's in something. Um... <gasps> what is he in? No, he's like the big guy in it. Um... That's bloody shy. Because he's. <laughs> no, he is. He's. <laughs> <laughs> no. Oh my god, what are you in? This is going to come back to me later. I don't know, but he's walking like he's shit. He's he has, but I'm sure he actually walks like that in the thing. <gasps> what is it? <laughs> You're just going to make this up now. Somebody tall and wide. No, and I'm going to Google you. Him. No, I need to find out who that is. Um, what is your accessory? What's your go-to accessory for autumn? The blazers. A trench coat. Autumn winter must-haves, like a good coat. See, I'm not, a, I'm not a trench coat gal. I'm a coat. Yes, a good coat. Uh-huh. Very kind. A good pair of boots. Very kind. Of any kind. I was like, uh, I'm always kind. A good pair of boots. Leather trousers. Oft. Oversized blazer. Of course. Comfy, chunky, cool trainers. I like a wee tight. Oh, yeah. She looks great with, the, with like, a blazer, but just tights and boots. Like a wee denier, like a wee 20... Is it denier? Denier? Denier. 20, 20... <laughs> four, I've got 40 on and I 20 is usually my oh, go-to. Oh, yeah, right. I didn't even realise. I, mean, I took I, the picture as well. To be fair, I'm surprised it's not hundreds of episodes because my legs were that hairy. Um, <laughs> but, yeah, that's it. And then, like, just, like, plain shit, like an oversized white shirt. Yeah. Hat. She hates us. Hat. She hates us. I'm actually sick of this shit. Right. Um, have you ever had any bad ex- or scary experiences living in Glasgow? Um, I have seen I've seen someone getting slashed once when I was a lot younger. Um, I used to work in ribbons at, like, Balarnock. Like, I used yeah. to just work there. And um, I went pick up one day. And I went to take a bite of a roll. <laughs> And I had just remember mum let it. Yeah, morning. Mum let out this fucking scream. It rings through my ears. And I just looked up and these two guys were fighting. But this guy from nowhere came and it was like a machete. And just, no joke, sliced the back of this guy's head. It was, it actually just went like open. Oh, don't. My mum was screaming because they were at, so they were like fighting like beside her car. She had like locked the door, she kept going at me, just eat your roll, don't look up, eat your roll and don't... And I was pure, mum, I've seen it, for fuck's sake. <laughs> but I was on my, but like, I was due to go back in, I was like, I ain't getting out. Mum was like, that's it, that's it. And I was like, that's it, what else? And I still need to go in there and get my 25 quid for the shift. <laughs> so that's probably the worst thing I've ever seen. I don't think I've ever had anything, like, bad, per- like, personally, but I think... Just like anywhere, if you're somewhere and by yourself, it's dark or whatever, you're just like run, run, <laughs> walk very quick. But I think you just do that everywhere. The only other thing, my brother got attacked. Remember, I was telling you about that. My hammer. Poor brother, man. Don't think anyone could have done that him, but they did. He was leaving a friend's house. It was a Thursday, right? And the boy that he loved with was like my brother, especially in school. So the boy he loved with had like 
didn't have loads of room like he had one of those special beds so Paul didn't have anywhere to sleep so he just came home so he phoned a taxi the taxi company were like oh we don't know where you are but you're close to the Gorbo swimming can you walk there so Paul was up sound so it was like Thursday 5 in the morning so it was dark and he said that he was walking on the side with no streets lights so he decided to cross to the side of the Gorbos and he just said he felt two people come up at once and obviously my brother's six foot four five and weighs about 18 stone so you're not gonna see if you jump to Paul or if I like if me and Paul are arguing or and I nudge him he doesn't even flinch <laughs> like there's Paul can just do that to me and I fall over like you have to hit him with some force and they come up quickly but whatever they did they just missed his temple Aww. and I remember the guy that opened up like the like a convenience store Paul must have rethinked with the number because he took his wallet and his phone and all that and he was like we've got your son here mum was like alright okay that's weird and when we went there we, he was un we didn't recognise him mum was like that's not my boy and Paul was literally because at this point Paul was like not what well, he was awake but not really responsive yeah. and there was literally blood everywhere oh my God. they clawed all the skin in his arms and neck what it was a hell? pure sin it honestly melted he had a big Big kid, but obviously we had a family party a week later, and he was like, I want to go, and he pure milked it. He got hundreds of money Aww. that day. I was livid. I was pure like ah, So what is that? What it takes? I takes to get jump for all years to start dashing at a tenner. I think he made a hundred pound at that party. One favourite sibling. Oh, he's always been the favourite. Oh, sorry. Oh, poor Paul. I'm at poor me. <laughs> Having a love room. <laughs> but apart from that, guys, and that sounds quite scary, but. Only when we were younger, like we used Only to when have, I'm like there were, there was fights and people uh, used to come from different areas. Been murdered a few times, but apart from but that, have you ever been in a fight? One time. I think you could. I think you could fight me. I'm like pretty. It takes a lot to get me angry. Uh, but once I'm angry. I'm angry. And I feel like you are quite, you know, strong. Oh, she's strong. Actually, I'm not very strong. Don't be saying that. If but I'll, I'll get me on the whole right one then. Aye. No, see. <laughs> I don't think I'm good in the fighting department unless it's I me. can imagine you just losing your shit though. Oh, I just lose <laughs> your temper. Mate, takes two seconds. Like I can imagine you gouging out eyeballs with your nails and all that. Everybody be like, fight when you be like, It was I because fight. everybody was there, wasn't it? It was like a massive <sighs> audience. I'd be like, imagine the anxiety. All the jannies are bouncing the in. The performance you'd need to give. <laughs> the whole school's watching. All right, mate. And it was like, if you see if you don't, you're like, oh, right. No. So if I don't win, you're then gonna come for me. Remember the fights at the party that everyone be meeting at lunchtime and that all doesn't that? doesn't really... Oh, sorry. That doesn't really happen anymore. No, I don't think anyone like nowadays sisters, fights. My sisters were at school a lot fucking sooner than what I was. And they... I was like, do people still fight in that? And they're like, no, really. Yeah, like, I don't like, feel People like, used to organise fights down the park when we were at school at I lunchtime. feel like they would troll you now. True. So we're like, rather than meeting... A different rather thing, than, like, meeting face-to-face... I think they would just go on Instagram, make a fake account and call you all the names under the sun. Which I would much prefer than getting leathered. I'd take a I troll mean, probably, any day of the week. Probably. I wouldn't really want to get beat up anymore. No. Not anymore, like as if I was into it at one point. No. <laughs> I was never into it. I feel like I, I kind of got out of it quite a lot. Because people were like, oh, don't pick on her because I was a pure, pure soul. When school, I was a pure geek. People were like, that's pure unfair. You should have done it. You should have done your homework. You weren't a geek. Mate. No way. I get paid a five out of day somebody's homework once. <laughs> That's a smart business. No, right, woman. guys, this story haunts me to this day. Right, so this girl I went to school with, when I say you don't mess with her, you wouldn't even breathe neither because she'd kill you, right? There's always one that. And she made girl. me do a presentation for English, and I thought, absolutely, I'm absolutely not messing with you. And it was on Michael Jackson. <laughs> and I wrote Michael Jackson came from Indiana, America. <laughs> And she stood up. <laughs> Michael Jackson was born in India. No. <laughs> I was like, that behind her. Indiana. Indiana. No, that was us caught. That was you getting your. But family. I was still there. I feel like, oh my god, I can imagine you now. I was like, right, I wasn't pals with any use at the time, so fuck sake. Like, they were my pals. I ever had No, I'm not doing your presentation. <laughs> but at that point, it was me on my own. I was like, Presentation? No problem. It's not as if I've got all my own hires to do. I'll do yours too. That is not to be so fair, I mean, I, I never, shit, never did any of that shit, man. Absolutely. I mean, not. I was a shy bag at school, man. I never did my own homework, never made anybody else's. Well, I did, I did a chair for everything. It's very well behaved. Oh, my god. Uh, um, 
Do we ever argue? Us? Absolutely not. I don't know what I could physically argue you with you what about. What would we argue about, yeah. Like Nothing it's confusing. Even if you annoyed me, I wouldn't get angry about it. Yeah, like, I but feel I like imagine, I, I, I can't could actually annoy imagine. Jade. Jade just could, you're just, just not an annoying person. Could, no, I don't think you are either, but I don't think you could annoy me. I am. No? No? I, don't I, don't think so. I mean, I'll take it if you don't think I am, but... I don't think there's something that I would be like, for fuck's sake. Like, nothing like that. No, actually no. I'd probably just laugh at it if you were doing something stupid. I just can't imagine arguing with you. I feel like we are... If we were arguing, like, we wouldn't be pals. No. No. Mm-mm. Like, it would just be at that point in our lives where we'd be like, see ya. I think if Correct you keep arguing with your pals, oh, what a fucking effort. By the way, this is the thing that I don't I don't know that like, you know that when people have been pals since they were really young like young school and then they're still pals now at I say at our age, but you know what I mean. Older. They tend to try and stay pals because that's all they've ever been, but then they like argue amongst themselves and they fall out and then like bitch about each other and that and I'm like, that is not right. I don't understand how anyone is bitching about anyone. That you've been friends with for years at the age that I'm at, 26. Just be fucking nice. And yeah, don't fucking start. Like, I can say to my pals, like, obviously sometimes you'll bicker. Like, you have maybe able to ask your pal, what? What you saying? Yeah, I don't Penable, mean if you're so snap. close. I don't mean if you're so close, it's like kind of like having a sister where you just would say, listen, you're doing my tits in. I mean, like, when they try to hold the whole group together when it clearly doesn't work, I'm like, just let it go. Let it go. But yeah, we, we do not argue. No. We're so nice to each other. So I still can't all think all who that guy was. That. You're a fucking liar. Me, I swear he's in something. <laughs> You've made it up. No, think I about swear. where we are right now. <laughs> who is it? Oh, he's like, I'm getting a Scottish accent, so I think I've just fully made that up. That'll come back to me. Just text me when you know. I want to confirm. Oh well. I'll be watching videos to see how he walks, because that was a distinct. walk. Just someone commented on my YouTube the night, right? I just thought, what? What? Right? What's with the accent? What do you mean? What's with the accent? I'm confused. Don't we answer, cause, and, can you answer this for me? You can answer that. Don't we all have an accent? Was it, was it somebody from Is here? Is it an accent not like, you're English, you're Scottish, you're Jamaican, you're American, you're... Yeah. Is that not an accent? Obviously. So I was like, what the fuck do you mean? Then she get pure white. Was she Scottish? Or I'm sure she get pure white, but did she? Oh. One of my lovely um, viewers you? jumped to my defence right did now. Did she? Aye. She went. She went. It's a lovely accent Abby's got. I was just confused. What were you doing an accent? Were you speaking nice? <laughs> well, this is the thing. I was maybe just speaking well mannered, but I, 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 either I'd, if I talk politely, I'm getting grief for being too posh. Then if I spoke the way I speak all the time, a I'm a Ned. Listen, I actually just think that you do speak both. Like, everybody does. Everybody's yeah. got a telephone voice and everybody does say th- th- some things politely. And then yeah. if you're with your pals and you're really speaking... Like, I've heard recordings of myself speaking. I'm like, that is not me. Oh, And it's me talking me, like that. Get, pure fast. And blah, 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 And I'm like, that is disgusting. See, when I sit in my girl pals, we're like, ha, ha, ha. <laughs> <laughs> what? I like you saying voice notes and you're like, all right, nah, damn me. So uh, I'm gonna what? You're gonna gonna what the? See, my mum listens to me in voice notes. She goes, "Was any of that actually English?" And, and her I go, "Oh, would be angry with me." Oh, my mom, my mom, I was, when like, I was young, so. my mum and dad used to get me in trouble to so speak properly. Like it really riles my mum that I refer to anyone and everyone as a mate. Yeah. Like we were in TK Maxx and I was like, "Did we go?" I think I said something, mate, and she literally mum did this where I went in front of her. She went, "We." we when, when I was, I was like, younger, if we said, like, my dad, my dad's not even, like, like, he speaks the same way. Some uh-huh. things really proper, some things freaking not so much. And he used to go mad, like, if we were saying, like, like that, see, if we were, like, if we were, like, Aye. doing this or whatever, or our mate or what, I need that. Yeah. Mum does this me all the time. Um, <laughs> um, <laughs> like. And I go, what? She goes, what? I think I'm like, Alison, you're this close to getting a dude. She goes, go for it. I'm like, ah. then this is the thing I'm at, mum. They love to slaughter us. You put on your fake posh voice, and she goes, 
Abby, I am well mannered and well spoken. I'm a uh, no when you're bitching with my dad, you know. No. Oh, oh, my dad, my, dad, my dad went to the hospital. I did it in the hospital and I got all his wee legs all sorted. He's a poor soul. Your wee dad's so cute. What a man. Yeah, he's honestly the, the the best human being. A lovely human. Honestly, he deserves the world. See, if I won the lottery, I would give it every penny to my daddy and let him decide who he wants to get it. I would not give it to my mum. She, well, she would obviously get all the money, but what I just mean is... I'd let my dad have it first because she would just black to my dad but you're getting that every week. Alison, if you're watching, she's talking shit, she'd definitely give you something. No, my mum would obviously get my dad. Would you're going to set up an alarm. like, mum, you're getting allowance, dad's get it all. <laughs> no, do you know what would happen? I'd give it to my dad the lottery, right? My dad would just go like that with all the money to my mum. There you go. And then she would block like that, divvying it up. What would you do if you actually won like a massive amount of money? Like how many people? See, I, this I can't get thing. into this conversation. I've done this many times, and then I get severely depressed. Right, because we didn't. I get sad that I didn't win the lottery, even though I don't put it on. Yeah, <laughs> my mum puts another line on for me. When it's but a big, when it's a big win, I'm like, oh man, why didn't I win that? And Andy's like, did you put it on? I'm like, no, don't be silly. Honest. So right now, right, let's just come up with a figure. Let's like when people won like 160 million. Right, let's make it 150 million. Let's just make it easy. Right, 150 million. I would today go to the bank and write a cheque for mum and dad for twenty five million each. Right, done. Fifty million gone, mate. I'm living off a hundred million. You'd live off the interest in the bank. I wouldn't even need to touch the hundred. Right. Says mum and dad, their their responsibility is now my brother. My mum doesn't agree with that. She keeps going. So you're not getting your brother. And I go, no. He's your boy. So if yeah. I've gave you 25 million, my dad 25 million, well, you that might be what I do because I've got lots of supplies. I mean, would I, would I individually? <laughs> See, this is where I become a wee bit tricky. I want to know your votes on this. So obviously, me and Lee are not married. We're not engaged. Different for you and Andrew, right? Yeah, we have a house together. My money is not Lee's money. I'm Lee doesn't still, agree with that. We're still very, very... Me and Andrew are still very separate. Although I say that, but... I mean, like, we have very separate bank accounts, but then we... If I give Lee for sure, I pay for a shit. million pound, Lee Allen's off. <laughs> He's like, I'm out of here. He, see the minute that checks into his bank account, Lee Allen's like, lovely meeting you, thanks for the last four and a half year. <laughs> but actually, I'm unhappy. <laughs> I'm going to go. I'm actually out of here. Um, Which is tricky because I'm like, I would want him... I, I would give, obviously give Lee money, but I would not give him... He wouldn't have the rights or the... But then, do you know that, that he are, there is, he's entitled to stuff if he's lived together for so long and blah, 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 blah? Just there is. What well, I want to know how many years that is because I'm moving out. <laughs> now you're out. <laughs> um, I mean, it's do you like know what his family. Say, do you know what people say? The, the best advice is like, that you don't tell anybody. Anyone. You tell me, me you would know I've won the lottery. I'd be I'm head to toe. Da, 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 da. Fucking, I'd be walking about with like a Hermes you'd cushion. Be, you'd be um, straight in Balenciaga that wee bag like that. I'd go into Balenciaga like and I'd say... Like real diamonds, please. Yeah, I'd say one of each. Do you know what I would do though? Only because I, I know I'll never be able to do it. I would get a driver, go down to London in one of those big driving cars, right? Have them park me outside Selfridges or Harrods, go probably Selfridges because I prefer Selfridges. And I would want someone to go in, I'd want a glass of champagne, I'd want to just, you know, sit and people putting fucking shoes in my feet and and buy whatever I want with no questions asked. I, I would then go and buy a G Wagon there then that day, brand new, unwrapped. Your money's it. gone, by the way. And my money's you gone. It. You then I'd it. drive up to Bothwell and I'd buy a gaff. They're talking about 1.12 million, mate. That off a, let's just say I spend 10 million. I've still got 90 million left. 90 million I could spend pounds. That one, one then I'd go buy toy poodles in every shade. Right, she's she's wasted it. She's spoiled it. Mate, I've still got about probably 99 million. <laughs> mate, I'm, I'm cushed doing the lottery. It just has to happen. Imagine, imagine what you'd feel. If somebody told you that you'd won that, you wouldn't believe them, right? You'd be like, no. fuck off. 
Uh, do you know that old that older couple in in Scotland? Well, they won it. They won like a hundred and sixty something million. Did they? I was like, oh. do you know what my best feeling was? I mean, I was talking oh, to us with the girls. Lovely. I would love to take all my friends out with our partners for dinner and give all the girls like a card and it's got both their names on a check that they've like I give them like maybe like a million each. Like imagine me coming out to you the day, right? Where going, do you draw the line with that? Where do you draw the line? But I've got my pals and I've got you and that's the line drawn. I'm not gonna get you willy nilly, people do you know what I mean? I could see you. I've I got, could see people going like that, baby. I've yeah. got ten people I would give to. Five hundred quid and you're like neighbor. Ten people would get a million off me. You would be one of them. But imagine me I'm meeting in. you today, right? And going, right, I've got something I want to give you. And you open it and it's a million pound with your name attached to it. Have a Like, imagine being able to do that when, for your pals. This is why we shouldn't do this together. Because then I'd be like, let's go shopping. But I could take Whoa. you shopping. That, or if, vice versa, if you won the lottery, you could take me shopping. Oh my God, imagine the fun oh, you could have. Mate. Anyway. That's a fucking... How do yeah. you want this? I don't know. I don't even want to talk about it anyway. Fucking that was depressing. us getting excited there, planning out our life. Mate, we would never have to check our online banking ever again. I think this all the time. Kylie Jenner, right, has never had to go somewhere and go, fuck, 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 <laughs> fuck, 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 I'm always at mum, see my savings account, can we have a £100, I'll get back the border. Oh. They've never done that. No. They've never had that experience. You know what I mean? Day before payday and you've rattled your corner. They've never had that. What a life. They've never had a debt letter come through your door like you never paid your last £23 pound Klarna. You're not getting chased for it. I get that all the time. That's why I don't have Klarna. I'm I've stopped doing Klarna because I actually think Klarna take the pass. I don't think Klarna tell me about my missed payments. <laughs> and then before you know it... <laughs> Day agencies are sending me letters and I'm shouting my pants. It's like if not if if not paid today, legal action will be taken. There's me wishing my life away in jail. Don't you worry, that's never happened. But um, yeah, I'm glad that that was. Um, we're not winning the lottery, so it's just. Don't say we're not winning it. We are. Mate, you don't put the lottery on. There's but that's true. If you want to win the lottery, put it on. Put guys. it on. <laughs> by, by, by the way, guys, you get more chance of winning the Irish lottery. Let's people play it. Yeah, don't let one as much. It, what's the jackpot? 50 grand or something? This is another thing, by the way. You're acting as if I know! Uh, this what? Is what I said. I was like, I'd be gutted if I just won, like, fucking. Wow. I wouldn't be gutted, obviously, but there's something in me that's like, oh, that's a bit shite. See, I, see, right, if I won 50 grand, I personally wouldn't blow the money. Like, I wouldn't go and spend it. I'd probably put 40 in the bank. I'd just put it all in the bag. And then I'd go like to the Maldives, go somewhere I've always wanted to go and I'd give mum and dad maybe like three grand to go a holiday. And then that way I've done something with the money. I wouldn't go buy hundreds of shit, but I would definitely go to the Maldives because it's expensive. And then I'd bank 40 grand. Right. I still think that looks absolutely beautiful in the bank account. Do you ever do that on payday? Like you look at your bank and you go lovely and then you go, I still want to take in and out and your bills. Payday. <laughs> Every day's payday for me. Not not like a lot. I just oh, mean I, like, I could I can go back to that. I like it though, because I think what if I was waiting on money? I can't imagine me waiting on money. I just need to know that Do you know what happens though? Like I'll go I'll go to work. <gasps> Turn that off. Why is it on? You idiot! My battery died. It's not died, it said it'll charge when it's driving um that'll be the next one we can't get out of here oh, for fuck's sake i'm gonna tow you up the road <laughs> before you see it <laughs> that was a joke guys don't worry we don't think we could actually tow up the road um, um what were we saying there unsure wait what else would we do after this Videos. I think we should do that. Everybody wants, everybody wants to fucking do the drunk one, but we're gonna have I to know, stay. I know I can't. I'm trying to be really well behaved and I'm not drunk. So You're just gonna have to. to wait. <gasps> Apparently tequila's fine. We'd have to shot tequila. <sighs> fucking old man, can you imagine us spewing? We'd need to eat something decent before it. I'd need something stodgy. I couldn't, stodgy have, it, I couldn't have empty stomach. Or a Domino's. I'd need something to line that stomach. Well, we could just keep it to a bare minimum, so it means that we're actually not steaming. Come on, I don't want to be steaming. Mate, four tequilas and I'm done. 
she is out of here. Right, so we'll, we will do that, but we need to do that when our time we're yeah, we're gonna. If Lee's away, I can come stay with you. Yeah. And or we we'll do it then go for dinner. Yeah, if we're going out or something. Maybe that would be better because we're going to have to get ready anyway because nobody wants to see us. Yeah, but why don't we do that? Why don't we plan a night we'll out? We'll one of the... <laughs> what did I used to call it? Putin? <laughs> um, um, do you even know? I think we are. I've worked out this wee line means something. Right. Um, what else are we going right, to say? So we either? will do that. We will. We promise we will do the drunk oh, video. Stiff, the and we'll do a, a, a night out. Why don't we do the eight, like the outfit one next Swapping week? Swapping clothes. We'll buy each other an outfit of Kay. £100 on ASOS. Okay. And then we can return it. Okay. Unless we like it. Unless we like it. I just hope it's not shocking. So like you say, me we, are, are we going to have to just get something? <laughs> oh no. Oh no. We're gonna do we need to get each other an outfit. And then wear it all day. And then wear it out. We have to film wearing it out. Like go out like a shop or something, go to pre mark. <laughs> what if I do like something really nice for you but you get me something like I won't I won't do I won't shade you like that. I'm I'm in good to you, hun. Uh, I'll put you in the most stunning blazer you've ever seen. Oh we love the blazer. A little pant. Right. Let's do that. So maybe do that next week then. Are we just going to buy each other what and what we think would look nice, or is it got to be like funny, or out with what we'd normally wear? I think we should do it out with what we'd normally wear. Oh Jesus! And wear it okay. that day, right? And go somewhere. And then, why well, don't they, you just comment below what you guys would like us to do? Yeah. Why don't you comment below? Other than those two. Yeah. That was a car. Let us know what you want below. Oh, that seagull's coming in. And we will film more. Yes. But on that note, we're done eating. By the way, that was enough, but not too much. Yeah, I told you. Don't do the chip. No traps. Never get any traps. I don't know if anyone noticed that. <laughs> Health Queen's over here. <laughs> well, look, by the way, they look stunning on holiday. We didn't. We I know. I was crispy. looking at them while we they were like, they're going to be so good, but I thought, no, fuck it, no. we're not. We're not getting chips. We don't need them. We've got spring rolls. Spring rolls aren't, aren't, aren't actually that bad for you. Well, they're not they're good for out. you, but they're not the worst. Well, maybe when I deep fried, actually, I'll take that comment back. But yeah, we will do another video next week. She is back for good this time. We're going to try and get a better, um, it is hard because we work, I work different shifts and then she's not available when she's obviously busy. So we're going to try our best to plan ahead and then like actual, have more of a schedule. Yeah, and we've got loads coming up, like Christmas and all that's coming up. Halloween, I mean, we don't really do that for Halloween, but like no. we've got Christmas, we'll, we'll go to the markets and that together. <gasps> yeah. We'll go to Edinburgh for the day. We're going to do that. We'll do all that and then we have... Some, I have something big coming that Jade's going to be a part of. Guys. My belly is, why is my belly rumbling? My tummy just did that. Maybe it's the fizzy juice. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> but um, we can't tell you that now, but you'll find it soon. Soon enough. You're going to be happy. Mm-hmm. Cheers, boys. We're going to go chat about it, because I want to tell her. Well, you know, but like I need to fill it in on the up-to-date the stuff. Um. But yeah, from us, thanks so much for watching. Thanks for watching, guys. Comment below what you want from us. And we will see you soon. Well, I'll see you... I'm going to put this up. Sunday. What day we on today? Thursday. Let's cook up on Sunday, guys. So happy Sunday. And then on Wednesday oh, Sundays is... are the best. Happy oh, Sunday, Sunday, guys. Are the... Sundays are the best. Hope you're in your maybe. jammies eating the Chinese that we said to order. <sighs> With a glass of diet and brew a nice little wine glass. Oh, oh. God and govern. Geez it. Um, and then on Wednesday, guys, I've got a haul for like workwear that you could also maybe wear to uni. That type of haul. I spent £560 yeah, I've seen on that. ASOS. The hell? I know, mate. I'm going to fly for this one. I want my workies to be like, yeah, yes. she's done it. But yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Bye. Bye. I can't wait to get my nails done. Hee <laughs> hee